this tutorial with my moisturizer so I always use the Neutrogena oil-free acne moisturizer pink grapefruit I just put a little bit on my fingers blend it through and apply this all over the skin okay so I'm gonna take the Maybelline baby skin instant pore eraser just take like a really small amount and I mostly focus this around the apples of my cheeks my nose my forehead usually anywhere where I have blemishes or marks of any kind I'm literally going through a breakout right now so don't mind that and then I take a little bit of Vaseline and just put that on my lips and now to prep for my eyes I take the Ulta Beauty Matte Eye Primer in Nude take some covergirl powder and a fluffy brush to set that okay so now I'm gonna take this I think it was Maybelline it's a brow pencil because it's like a little retractable pencil on that side and then on the other side it's like this little blending I am going to take a spoolie and brush through the brow and then I'm going to take the pencil end and just lightly fill that in just kind of mostly to get rid of some of the sparse areas and then I just run the spoolie over it again to start off for eyeshadow, I'm going to take the Lorac Pro Palette and I'm going to take Taupe and I'm going to take this on a It brush, it's called It Brushes from Ulta, it's called Shadow. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that on that brush and we're going to focus this all over the eyelid and the crease. This is going to be like a transition shade, so I'm just going to pick up a little bit more. It's kind of like adding until you like it. Like, I don't want it very, very dark or anything, but I want it noticeable. And then I'm going to make sure, like, this outer V is prominent. I'm going to take this angled brush, and I'm going to pick up espresso and I'm going to take this from like the outer corner pull back my eye kind of make a wing I might slowly work it in to where it's just a light align the inner corner gets like a little wing there to like elongate i'm gonna take this ulta beauty crease brush and we're just gonna lightly go over this other than in the inner corner now i'm gonna take the elf small angled brush and go in with black this is a little bit more of a dense brush and we're just going to follow the line that we already created. So I'm going to go back in with that other angled brush and I'm going to go back in with espresso. Now I'm going to go back in with that crease brush. So 
so I'm going to go back in to black. I'm just going to kind of sharpen it up a little. I just took a little brush like this from Real Techniques and just cleaned up the inner corner shadow. And then I'm going to take, you can take any cream concealer. I'm just going to take a NYX one that's in a palette. And just from this outer corner just clean the line up and then I'm gonna go back in with that brush that has that has like taupe left over and just blend out the top of the shadow okay so I'm gonna do the other eye and I will be so I'm back so I'm gonna take the Ulta crease brush I'm going to dip back in with some of that taupe just on that lower lash line. And then I'm going to take that angled brush again and I'm going to take espresso. We are going to leave the inner third with nothing on it. Take the angled brush and pick up the black. I'm, gonna go, I'm just going to keep this on the outer corner. Now I'm going to take the Stila Kajal Eyeliner in Onyx. And then I'm going to take the Farmstay Princess Curl and Long Lash Mascara. We'll make sure the outer lashes get coated really well. And then I'm also going to do the bottom lashes just where the we put like the darkest color so just wherever we put the black. So we are going to start on the face. So I'm going to take the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup Neutral Fresh Ivory. And I'm going to take the e.l.f. Small Stipple. the Beauty Professional Luxury Kabuki and blend everything out. I just go ahead and wherever I need it, I am going to add just a little extra. Okay, so I'm going to take the Kylie Jenner Skin Concealer in Shell. I'm going to apply this on any blemish I have and on my nose, my under eyes, a little on my chin and under my nose, and just a little on my forehead. I'm going to leave the concealer to like sit just for like 30 seconds and then I'll blend it out with my stipple brush. The little tip that I have is if you have a pimple that you want to cover up, I wait to blend it out last and just lightly stipple over. Now I'm going to take the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. I'm going to take the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Press Powder in Translucent. I'm going to take just the little puffer that comes with it. So I'm just going to put it where I really need it and then I'll blend it out to the places just to like set everything. I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush and just dip in there a little bit and blend everything out. Okay, so for bronzer I'm going to take the Revolution Makeup Revolution London Ultra Blush Palette. I have it in All About Bronzed. I'm going to take this color right here with a Real Techniques contour brush. I'm going to take a little bit of it and then I am going to put it where kind of the bridge of my nose stops so I'm gonna put it like all over 
the top of my nose right there and then where my nose is more puffier I am gonna take that on the very tip and then we're also gonna do a tiny bit of a slimming effect for blush I'm gonna take the physician's formula glow and mood boosting blush and natural I'm gonna take that with a angled blusher and then I'm also going to take a little bit and I'm going to put that right across like the bridge of my nose where I put a lot of the bronzer. And then on the very tip of my nose, I'm going to a little tiny bit on the chin. I'm going to take the big fluffy brush that we use to powder and just blend everything out. I'm going to take the e.l.f. Illuminating Palette this one right here on the very top of the cheekbone not on the very top of my nose but just a little further back to create the illusion and whatever's left I will just kind of put on my chin NYX suede matte lip liner in Copenhagen okay so I just lined my lips naturally and then I will go a little bit above that line <laughs> take the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in London. And then I take a tissue just to blot some of it. And then I'm just going to apply a little bit more. Okay, so I am going to go do my hair and I will be back. Hey guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did enjoy watching, then please like and subscribe. Mm -hmm.